Hi guys, so this is my January wrap up. So let's just talk about the books that I read in January. I feel like I should start by saying that I'm not going to be one of these um, booktubers who is able to read about 10 or 20 books in a month. I don't have that in me, not in my life, not at the speed that I read and that I want to enjoy these books. So um, my wrap up is going to be two or three books each and this is my January wrap up. So in January, the first book I read in January was The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman. Um, these are my lovely um, 20, 20th, is it 20? No, 10th anniversary hardback editions. Look how glorious that is. It's all shiny and beautiful and inside there is um, some nice um, pictures. Really nice. Um, I, after reading The Book of Dust back in November, I went straight into reading The Northern Lights again and I could not even couldn't think about reading something else so I went straight into The Subtle Knife and I remembered very little about this book. I remembered some, I remembered how it began, strangely, I remembered how it ended but I didn't remember a lot about the begin, the middle. So um, I really really enjoyed my reread of this. I've read it a few times over the years and um, this time I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I took my time, I read it slowly and I wanted to really appreciate the chapters and the characters and what they were going through. Um, I know that sounds strange, I should have probably recorded this as soon as I finished reading it because it's not really a review, but I wanted to say that the the only thing about this book that I didn't didn't remember and didn't necessarily... Not that I didn't enjoy, that sounds, that sounds mad, but just a kind, of a, a kind of constructive criticism just from my personal taste that there wasn't enough Lyra in this book. I know that the first book is all about Lyra and in this, in this volume she is a main character with other main characters involved, but I really, really missed Pan. I really missed Lyra and Pan's relationship and the conversations between them because Pan doesn't doesn't say a lot in this and doesn't really do a lot in this. Um, I I love Will and I love the witches and I I, I love Lee and Hester and I love I love the characters you get to see in this book um, and I understand that introducing Will means that you you lost a bit of Lyra but I. I, nevertheless, I did miss Lyra and I did miss Pan and I missed their relationship and I kind of wish there was more of that in this book. Um, in this reread, I kind of realised I always thought that Northern Lights was my ultimate favourite um, and then, then The Subtle Knife and then The Amber Spyglass, but on this reread I have discovered that, that that's not true. My My feelings have changed and so you know, the interesting growing up and reading a book that you read when you were younger, how, how that can happen. Um, but really, really like this volume. It ramps up towards the end and I really like, I really like this book. I do really like this book. So that was the one I first one I read in January and obviously the second one that I read in January was The Amber Spyglass. Again, I have the 10th anniversary um, hardback. Um, I've had these for years. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Let's just pull that little thread on through, shall we? Um, Amber Spyglass. So, um, by Philip Pullman. Obviously, this is the third volume in the His Dark Materials trilogy. Um, this one, I adored this time round. I could not put it down. Um, I remembered even less about this book than I remembered about The Subtle Knife. I feel like I know Northern Lights really well. I remember it really well. I remembered bits about The Subtle Knife. This one, I didn't remember very much at all, at all. It felt like I was reading a new book again. I was to explain that. Um, the first third of this book, I was riveted. I just thoroughly enjoyed um, Mrs. Coulter in the cave and, and Will. Will is a beast. He was awesome. Just his ferocity really came through and Yorick is back and yeah I loved I loved finding Lyra and um, I loved there was more Lyra in this book I thankfully because Lyra is a, such a great character and Pan and her go through a bit of a situation um, kind of missed a bit of Serafina in this but you know you have to it's she was in a lot of it in the second one so that was cool um, my favorite 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 part of this book though was Mary Malone and I 
I've read this book a few times, but I don't know why this one was the one I couldn't remember. But Mary Malone's story in this had me riveted. I was glued to her pages and I wanted more of her and I'm going to be bold. I'm going to say that I think in fact she might be my favourite character in this trilogy. What a statement. Um, right now how I feel her story was my favourite bit and I just loved it. And I think that might be a testament to the fact that I'm now much more of an adult, I guess, reading what is known <laughs> as a young adult book. And Mary Malone's part in this is quite an adult part. Um, I just, I cannot sing this book's praises enough. I would give The Northern Lights five stars. I would give The Subtle Knife four stars. And I would give The Amber Spyglass five stars. I adore this. I adore this trilogy anyway, but this book this time round, look how beautiful the back is. Um, this book this time round was just stunning. I, if you haven't read these books, you have to go and read these books. They're amazing. Um, yeah, I finished it and I, I, it's not really a review. I just, I just loved them. So yeah, those are the two books that I read in January completely. Oh, I am reading, oh, bear with. Very, very graceful of me. Currently reading in January is The Snowman by Joe Nesbo, and um, I am 150 pages in and um, very, very intrigued, very much enjoying it. Wanted to read the book before I saw the film. I do like Michael Fassbender and I'm hoping the film's going to be good. But so far, this is my first ever Joe Nesbo. Um, I now own a couple of his books in preparation. So I think I'm going to enjoy him as an author. And I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, creepy. 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 So yeah, so that was my January wrap up. I hope everybody's having a lovely January and um, reading lots. What have you read this January? Um, any book recommendations for me? Please, please send them on over. Um, and um, I have started a Goodreads account, so I'll put the link below if you want to follow me on Goodreads. I'm going to chart what I've read in 2018 and um, send me some recommendations, guys. Always want new recommendations. Thanks, guys. See you soon.